here is the bitter sweet treat that I've been waiting to get a video on. I've been waiting for this one to make it into the yard. I knew it wasn't going to sell. They wanted two grand for it. It's a 1963 Cadillac Sedan DeVille. Sorry about the lighting, man. I should have been the sun is not uh, cooperating. We'll take a walk around it. You see that damage? This car came into this yard as far as body wise, uh, the body panels, there wasn't a, really a dent on it. So, what you see in there on those doors is, of course, the uh, forklifts. Now, it, when I saw it, it did have a busted back window, so I'm not sure how long ago that was lights busted on this side the bottom one here this one's still it's cracked though now you can see the cracking but it's still there that was <laughs> how's that bumper I see some little dents in it looks like she came from I want to say Lone Star Cadillac of Dallas Dandeville, man. This is a rare sight in the uh, in a U pull it style pick and pull LKQ. You pull it all those. You know, you'll see these in the you know classic car junkyards. You know, but uh, not one of these, man. Look at that thing, man. Now this front end, is there an issue here going on? Oh, it's just loose, okay, yeah. But other than that, that grill appears to be, uh, she's got a little bit of damage I can see. But overall, that bumper looks to be good. The trim's got some issues there. This fender, um, the hood. I would say is very very usable. The uh, headlight bezels are all right. Yeah, headlight bezels got a T3 there. T no no T3s on this one. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Man, that front windshield's cracked. I wonder how much of this uh, can be used. Anything from this on an Impala, say of the same year or right around the same years. Yeah, I know these are bigger cars, but uh, let's see. Well, there's one of the um, one of the hubcaps. Anyone on this side? I see no, only one hubcap. But yeah, trim's missing on this one. Seems to be mostly okay, but this was done by the yard right here. Like I said, man, 2013, huh? Yeah, like I said, side glass is good though. This door, she got a dent there. This one looks to be okay. Yeah, both fender skirts are there. And they open and close. Yeah. This was locked. Man, I like the wings on these, man. I see no hail damage up there. No. Nope. The trim looks good around this busted glass. This deck lid. Got some diocese few dents on it. Still usable, though, if it's not rusted. Key. I had to use the screwdriver for that. I might clean up. But under, under here, yeah, man, this channel's gone. More so right here in this area. Yeah. Fortunately, this car became a big-time rodent motel. Yeah. 
She's crusty, man. She's crusty. I wonder what that is. What does that say? America? No, not the America. It says AMG something. I can't. Oh, man, I'm trying to see if I can see what that is. Ah, crap. That's going to hold. Don't want to get my head chopped off by uh, this deck lid. What is this? Hey, check it out. I'm wearing gloves. Yeah, man, I had to. This, this car is nasty. Oh. Oh, this is something for, uh, yeah, I think that's something for, uh, what is this? Oh, that's like a fuel pump. Yeah. Is that a fuel pump? Yeah, it's a fuel pump. Automotive electric fuel pump. Yeah. Trying to help it out a little bit. Let me uh, look down at the bottom of this car. Let's take a look and see what we got, what we're working with here. Man, I hope the stabilization holds up on this on this phone, man. Sometimes it wants to mess around. We got opposite of each other, kind of. Posse. Yeah, shit's still solid though underneath, though, man. I, I couldn't look at it underneath last time. Oh no, I can see she got some rust over there. Look at the back. At least on these core panels, it looks all right. I got damage right there. Let's go a little bit further up. You know, I'm doing a little more in depth on these, man. I love these older cars like this, you know, these early 60s. Heck yeah. Yeah, she's got some rust going on there in the front. The front, uh, floor pans. It's an X-Body. You know, like the Impalas. So you can see it. There's a frame. X-Frame. I'm sorry, not X-Body. X-Frame. Yeah, I'm, I'm, what am I? I'm tripping here, man. The other frame goes into an X there. Comes back out right there. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure this is not the same frame. Though. Probably a little longer. But the back... Seems like the back uh, um, floor pans are good. Uh, let's take a look. <clears throat> Inside. Oh yeah, I said this thing's locked in here. Such a shame, man. Look at that. Still. And close good. And this one. Again. In the back. Oh, I love these these handles, man. Now, these are solid. Yeah, that's some, that's solid. That's a, that's a pop metal. That's not plastic. Heck no. Pop metal, chromed, starting to pit. Mm, that won't open. But she had to, you know, back then, man. Smoking was the thing, you know. Everybody had their own cigarette lighter and their own and their own ashtray. You got one here and there, and you got some up front too. But that was this door panel. Door itself. I don't know if you can see it. Come on. I would love to take this seat though, this bench seat. What's this, man? I don't know what this is, this switch here. What's that switch for? A light or something? Your windows. Like I 
said, I love the handles, man. Just got a little rust in there. So this is a uh, this is a power bench seat right here, man. I think this would swap over into like an Impala. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it does. I saw this too. Uh, see, it doesn't. Not, usually, I saw, oh, they say like uh, body by Fisher. I mean, this is Cadillac, but here it says interior by Fleetwood, body by Fisher. Man, that is cool. Of course, she was an AC car correctly here in Texas Cadillac. Mm -hmm. this was the the luxury suite right here of the uh, of the uh, rodent motel hotel not motel sorry when you're in a Cadillac it's not a motel it's a hotel rodent hotel and this would be the, the luxury suite the penthouse suite the you know honeymoon like I said you got one here and then you got one. <clears throat> come on, come on, right there. Everybody, everybody gets a, a lighter than an ashtray. Yeah. Look at that. This ain't a cheapy. This looks fancy. Of course, it's cracked underneath. That's... How's that headliner? Look at that headliner, man. It's a little bit. Is it sagging a little bit here? Yeah, but other than it being sagging. She is in nice shape. Heck yeah. Ain't ripped or nothing. Oh, I'm missing the... Could you, looks like you could pop that out. Damn, wish it was still there. Crap. I wonder if it's got on the other side. Vanity mirrors on both sides, maybe? Hmm? Hmm? Ooh. Always like these vent windows. Heck yeah. Mobile One. Engine number service that. I don't see, can't see a date on there. It's cool though. I like that. I wish there was paperwork on this car somewhere. I didn't find anything. But look at that steering wheel, man. Does anybody out there know? I did a little research. Could this steering column, it's a tilt steering column. Could this work on my... Uh, on an Impala of around the same year, 62, 63. Man. I like the steering wheel. I like this. Isn't that neat? She's a, uh, yeah, seen better days, but man, that's nice. This is the glass. I'm in the mirror. Somebody messed up the clock. Bastards. Busted that up. Bastards. Here's your radio. More options. A little side, a little center vent. Like I said already. And what are these here for? What are these? I'm not sure what these are. Oh, that's. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. It's the freaking uh, uh, <laughs> the good, uh, the knobs for the radio. Jeez, I'm a dumbass. Nice. Oh, this is solid, man. Look at that. Your lights. Heck yeah. And look at it. Like I said, got your power, full power bench seat, man. I've got one from an earlier uh, Buick that's also power. I think it's like a '59 or '60 Buick, uh, deuce and a quarter. Yeah. But that's got the controls down here. This one's got them on the sides. Front and back, tilt, up and down tilt. Yeah, there's your switch for your power. Man, these probably go for a little pretty penny, man. Check it out, man. I like this. The way they control the your, your, your side mirror here. Yeah. Go back and forth like that. And then you turn it. <laughs> that's cool. That is cool. Lovely man. Bittersweet, bittersweet man.
bittersweet. All right, man, let's check out the... Oh, let's see the mileage real quick. How correct is that mileage? I don't know. But uh, see up here? Let me see, like, oh, I gotta hold this more. I don't wanna have to. See that? In 2000, it was supposed to be due for the end of 2000 100, at 179, basically almost 180,000 miles. Right? Is that what I read correctly? 180,000? No. No. <laughs> 17,900. Oh, it must have already rolled over, I'm assuming. And they didn't realize it, I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. I doubt in 20, what's that, not even nine years, that it looks like that it went from pristine to looking like this. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see if I can get this boat open. Man, those hinges were good. And under the hood, we have pretty much everything. Has it been sitting for a good while? Uh, she's not locked. AC compressor's not locked up. Yeah. What kind of car is this? Seems like I think you can slide this out, right? I'm gonna grab my pliers so I can pull that out. Look at it a little better. Get your power, power brakes, power steering, air conditioning. Yeah, man. This would be I think I saw on there the 390, 325 cubic inch. I think I uh, I read on there. I'm sorry, 325 horsepower, 390 cubic inches, yeah. I'm trying to see if I could spin it, turn it over just uh, by hand, but I couldn't do it. I just couldn't get my hand in there, it's too, too tight. But it seems to be all there. They said this car broke a record for like the most options you can get. Like 143 options on this car you could have gotten. You know, I'm talking everything. But uh, let me get my pliers here and pull that out real quick. Where did I put them? Sorry about that. I should have had them on me quicker. I found these, man. A snap on. Found another junkyard, though. Yeah, I can't pull that out. Okay. What do we got here? like on um, some backwards yeah this is like backwards man it's hard to read looks like eight something of 63 i don't think yeah this is hard to read man but i'll put it there maybe somebody can decipher it yeah do i got it upside down maybe it's upside down oh yeah it was upside down duh but it's still like on backwards kind of see something oh, I think that's the person's name actually maybe somebody's name right there John T Higging something yeah that's neat yeah 812 of 63 that's, that's nice let me take that that's cool but yeah what do y'all know about this engine I don't know much about it yeah, there's your factory AC there's your suction throttling valve your expansion valve down there it's a bitch about working on the on these earlier uh cadillacs you know the ac the evaporator sits back up in here back in there you got to pull all this out to get to that to, to do servicing on this thing man oh pain in the freaking ass well, there it is man i don't know what else to do. got both of them still yeah yeah I think that's it. Have I covered the whole car already? <laughs> Coming up on 20 minutes. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'll be down. That wasn't there. <laughs> oh. Hmm. What brand is that? Matthew.
you. Yeah, this is made in the USA. Damn. I wonder if this fall out of this car. <laughs> Maybe one of the workers who were messing with it. They got their drum brakes though. Big, massive drum brakes. Yeah. All right, man. That's gonna do her. We've dragged this video out long enough. No, 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 no. Just right. Just right. Yeah. She deserves it. I think she does. One last uh, hurrah there. Damn shame she came in with a title. And was straight as an arrow, at least on the sides. Well, that's gonna do her. All right, guys. On to the next one, man.